What's up guys? So today we're just gonna look at Savior Tears by the weekend. We have no cable, it's gonna start hitting, so let's quickly dive into the structure of the song. We start off with the intro, we have the verse, then we have the refrain, another verse, refrain, then a chorus, then we have the verse three, then we have a refrain, then we got a chorus, then again a refrain, then a chorus, then an outro. Now the verse, uh, the refrain and the outro are all same, uh, having the same chord progression, but the course is just a little bit different. So let's quickly dive into the chord shapes. First chord is a C major, which is mu three to zero one zero. Then we have an A minor, which is mu open second second first open. Then a G three two open 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 three. Then an E minor, which is zero two two zero zero zero. Then a D minor, which is mu mu open second third first. Then an F, which is one three three two one one. And that's basically everything for the course. So if you have any doubt regarding the course, you can just drop a comment down below. I'm gonna help you all day. All right. So uh, let me just clear up with the strength pattern right now, cause it's the same strength pattern going throughout the whole song. I'm going one two three four one two three four. So I'm doing down 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 down. I'm going one two three four. So on the three, basically I'm strumming it a little bit louder. And on the one two, I'm basically strumming the top string, so it goes like one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. So one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. Like that, it actually goes. So let's play. The intro, we're just gonna play the C major chord, and the string pattern will be going four times on the C major chord, which means one two three four one two three four into four. So we have. And easy. So one two three four, 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 one two three four. And now the verse, the refrain, and the outro are the exact same parts with the string pattern and with the chord progression. So this thing, uh, the chord progression over here will be C major, A minor, E minor, and a G. And we're just gonna do the string pattern once on each chord. So it will be. Down stroke on each chord. First, refrain and the outro the same path. So C, A minor, E minor, G. And now we have the last part, which is the chorus, where we have the chord progression D minor, A minor, F, and G. And again, the strength band going once on each chord, and we are done actually. So, one, two, three, four. And what happens in the chorus is after playing the D minor, A minor, F, G, twice, like I played right now, I played it twice. After that, you just gonna play. C, A minor, E minor, G. The verse, the refrain, and the outro chord progression. In other words, just gonna play that twice, and we're actually done for that chorus. So in the chorus, we had D minor, A minor, F, G twice, and then we had uh, C major, A minor, E minor, G. So we got. We're going a little bit faster. Last time, and we are done. Just to show you guys, and to manage time, I just went a little bit faster. But this is how the chorus goes, and we are done for the full song. So I hope this video helps you out, guys. Uh, make sure to drop me one of these. Subscribe to the channel, I'm working quite hard for you guys. So subscribe, I'll be very happy, I'm gonna appreciate that. Please subscribe, drop a comment down if you just want any other song by anyone. See you guys back in the next video, so bye.